Night, night with Frankie. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Mr. Scott. Get up, Frankie! Thanks for joining us for Night Night with Frankie. Tonight, we're going to learn about Zacchaeus. Gazute! What? I'm just being polite, Mr. Scott. Well, okay. So, uh, one time, Jesus was passing through Jericho, and there was a man there who was rich, who was the chief tax collector. His name was Zacchaeus. Gazute! Got the sniffles, huh? You want me to finish this story? No, Frankie, you're confused. The man's name was Zacchaeus. I thought you said he was rich. I did. Then why do you keep calling him Zacchaeus? Shouldn't you be calling him Rich or Richard or Ricardo or something? Well, when I said he was rich, what I meant was that he was wealthy, that he had a lot of money. Well, why didn't you just say so? So who was this chief you've been talking about? Was he from Kansas City? No, Frankie. He was a chief tax collector. He collected money from the people. Oh, he probably wasn't a very popular guy, was he, Mr. Scott? Probably not. So Zacchaeus was trying to see who Jesus was, but he couldn't see because of the crowd, because the Bible tells us that he was small in stature. He was a small statue? I love that game! Okay, when I say freeze, the first one to move loses. Freeze! I could do this all day. Frankie. You lose. No, Frankie. He wasn't a small statue. He was small in stature. That just means that he was short. Is that a crack about my height, Mr. Scott? You know I'm sensitive about that. Ay, caramba. Todos son humoristas. It's okay, Frankie. There's nothing wrong with being short, but in this case, it was keeping him from seeing Jesus. Oh, so what did he do? He had an idea. He knew which way Jesus was going, so he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree so that he could see him. Now that's using your head, Zacchaeus. Gesundheit. Very funny, Mr. Scott. So when Jesus came by the place where he was, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for today I must stay at your house. You mean he just invited himself over just like that? Well, I do that all the time to the kid down the street. Did you know he has a trampoline? Well, Frankie, Jesus wasn't just inviting himself over to Zacchaeus' house. Jesus knew that Zacchaeus needed him. But why did he need him, Mr. Scott? Zacchaeus needed to be forgiven, Frankie. You see, Zacchaeus hadn't always treated people the way that he should. Sometimes he would cheat them. Ooh, that's not nice! I know. But he hurried down from the tree because he was happy to meet Jesus. But some of the people began to grumble. Oh, were their tummies hungry? Oh, it wasn't their tummies that were grumbling. They were upset because Jesus was going to the house of a sinner. But doesn't everybody sin, Mr. Scott? Well, sure they do, but they didn't seem to remember that. But right away, Zacchaeus repented of his sins and told Jesus that he would give half of his possessions to the poor and pay back anyone that he had cheated four times as much. Wow! Four times as much? That sounds too good to be true! Hey, wait a minute! Is this some kind of a Ponzi scheme? No, Frankie. He was just trying to make up for some of the bad things that he had done. And you know what, Frankie? What's that, Mr. Scott? Jesus was happy to forgive him. He said to Zacchaeus, Today, salvation has come to this house. I'll bet Zacchaeus was happy he met Jesus. I'll bet you're right, Frankie. And you know what? What's that, Mr. Scott? We need to remember that Jesus is happy to forgive us, too, as long as we repent and try to make things right. Wow, that's right. Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. <coughs> he means Zacchaeus. Come back next time for more Night Night with Frankie. Night Night, boys and girls. Don't forget to pray. Night Night with Frankie. Night Night with Frankie. Night Night with Frankie.